guys, it's me. Um, updating you for the day. I ended up driving to Teresa's, so I'm currently at Teresa's. Um, right, I left right after I got off of work. Uh, we plan on leaving really early or late tonight to start the drive to Florida and it should be interesting. I'm already tired, so I don't know how it's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I listened to some Harry Potter on my drive down. <laughs> uh, so, that was fun. And Draco's a little bitch. So is Snape, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, it's me. Um, We are currently out and about getting like road trip snacks um, and getting gas for tomorrow so we don't have to like stop beforehand or anything and we could just drive straight through. Um, I got some cool snacks, got some chips, some Pringles, cause, yeah. And we got some bread cause I'm on brand and Teresa is here. <laughs> so yeah, I'll update you guys I guess when we leave or something because why not? But I'll probably be half asleep so we'll see. Hey guys, it is I and Teresa. Uh, we are getting ready to start this drive. Um, I'm gonna be sleeping for the first few hours, so you probably won't get any updates until later this afternoon while Teresa drives, and then it'll be her turn to sleep, and then it'll be my turn to drive, and we're gonna go from there. Um, I think the next time, I'll probably wake up somewhere in the Carolinas, and then we'll stop in Atlanta for IHOP, and then, be on the road again to Disney, to Florida, to Book Fest. So excited! Hey friends, it's me. I just finally woke up from <laughs> sleeping and we were finally at IHOP. So we're gonna go eight hours later. Enjoy this breakfast <laughs> before it's my turn to to drive. Uh, let's hope I don't get us lost. <laughs> and yeah. Bye. Pictures like. Hey friends, we're done at IHOP, and now we are just driving to get gas before it is my time to switch over and drive. Um, I probably will not be vlogging. <laughs> that uh, I might show some clips from the drive, but it, probably other than that, like nothing else, since safety first and all that jazz. Oh my gosh, this road is so fucking weird. <laughs> um, oh, I did that out. But, I also don't yeah. like this gas station. <laughs> Yeah, this is weird. Oh my gosh. Um, Nobody knows what's going on. But yeah. Uh, next stop is Disney. So I'm super excited and booked at Fest. So that should be fun. So hopefully you guys will see all of our shenanigans. I'll up to you guys later.
my children. You are all my children now. since last night so that's okay um we went to disney yesterday as you see from the clips and it was so fun um the park was basically empty because i think of the hurricane so we got to just do a lot of like rides and we got to see the fireworks display which i was so excited to see because that was the main thing like that i didn't get to see last time i went to disney it was so pretty and all of the characters and yeah it was just great um, and then we finally made it to the hotel. <laughs> uh, we are rooming with Laura from Bookies and Cookies and Caitlin. I don't know if she has a channel or not. I should probably ask that later. I got to see a couple of people before like we were all tired, wanted to go to bed. So now it's the morning. We are getting ready to like go to registration in a little bit. And uh, yeah, so I will keep vlogging as the day goes on. So... That is pretty much it, and we'll see. It's me checking in for day two of Book Net Fest. I almost said the wrong thing. Um, I'm currently getting ready for the day. Um, it's like 10, almost 11, but I like wasn't feeling good this morning. Um, I was like exhausted from just like hanging out with people last night. So I was like, I'm gonna take my time and get ready. So far, Book Net Fest has been really cool. Um, I've just mostly been hanging out with people, honestly. Uh, I didn't, <laughs> yesterday I was like trying to get some like editing done and stuff so I decided to uh just hang out like in the lobby area and not go through really many panels 
adjust to uh, do that, work on that. And then, um, like I just hung out with people there and I hung out with people pretty much last night too in their rooms and stuff like that. So it was just like really chill. Um, so far like everybody's been super nice too. Like I, I met some new people, I, like I hung out with some old people that I know too. So it's been a good like mixture. Um, I've been getting to see like people that I love, like Jesse from Bow and Books, which I love them so much and they're so fun. So the same with uh, Ghost Reader who ended up just showing up out of the blue, which was really funny. Today is my second uh, booktube birthday anniversary, whatever. Uh, I've been on booktube officially for two years, which is weird. Oh, for people of color, it is always gonna be harder to jump into that barrier. There, there are people who've been in the booktube, booktube that any sort of realm for a long time, who put out great consistent content all the time, who just, aren't going to grow, aren't going to get it. any of the viewership, the shout outs, anything like that. And so it starts the whole trend of hashtag black booktubers, hashtag black bookish. So that way you can find other people of color, other black creators and things like that. But I, I, I can go on all time. <laughs> I mean, it is an important conversation. Like we can't have this platform size conversation without like, like right. that's part of Yeah. And especially in a room filled with people who consider themselves academics and readers and who push for hashtag diverse books, hashtag own voices, hashtag anything diversity, you are not looking for diverse content creators. You're not. Because there are tons out there. There are tons in this room and I bet you none of y'all will pull out your phones right now and subscribe to their channels. Today has been very like chill again. Um, I went to a panel that Chloe from the Brunette Boo Boo file was on, um, and India from Life as a Page Turner, and some other people, and it was actually really good and really interesting. So I'm glad I went to that. And then uh, Teresa <laughs> bought me a balloon and some cupcakes for my uh, booktube anniversary, so that was that was fun. I might see if I can steal somebody's clip from that and like put it in here. Um, I also ended up doing the book swap, which I, which was pretty cool. Uh, we there were like some pretty good books in there that I was not expecting. Uh, I got an arc of Raven, the graphic novel by Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo. I think that's his name. Yeah. Um, and then I got an arc of Listen to Your Heart by Casey West as well, which both are not very new, but that's okay. I wanted those books and I want to read them and stuff, so that was pretty cool and I'm happy. Me and Teresa are about to go to the pool. Now, um, she's gonna swim and I am going to sit and read because I'm not a swimmer, aka I don't know how to swim, so I stay on the safe side. Um, but yeah, that's all I want to update you guys with. I will update you maybe before prom and just show you how we're all getting ready or something and, or show you my look, I don't know, but I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> It is me. We are currently getting ready to go to prom to uh, dance our hearts out during this bookish life. Here is Teresa. She's also, it's like long section almost, but she's not following you. She's just taking pictures. I think, I don't know. Um, this is kind of my outfit. You can't really see it, but here. Oh. <laughs> ah, I'll show you later. <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> I'll show you a clip of my outfit in a minute. And yeah, I'm so excited to dance. There's gonna be bookish drinks, bookish friends. I went to prom, I had a good time, so I'm excited to reenact. Nah, not reenact, because I wouldn't want to go back to my prom, because I think it was pretty good for so for what it was, but I'm excited to, I guess, re-experience prom? I don't know. But I will try and show you clips from the night, so hey! <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm exhausted from the prom, honestly. Um, I danced uh, some by choice, some not by choice sometimes, <laughs> uh, thanks to Justin. And I had fun and just hung out with people and talked to people. Um, I am so grateful that I was able to come this weekend. I just like feel like I made so many friends and got to hang out with old friends too, like Kat and Chloe and Desiree, and I loved being able to like get to know people more, like Brody and Jesse. Uh, <laughs> I'm exhausted because I'm an introvert and being around people is great, but also tiring for me. So my plan to, for the rest of the night is probably just to get into my pajamas, watch some booktube and maybe read a book. I feel like that's like the best bet for me right now. Also look at how shiny my face is. It's the cool. I put a lot of glitter on. <laughs> I'm glittering <laughs> and I like it. But yeah, so that was my night. Um, did some sprints for Carrie from Carrie the Book Bell for Zodiacathon. So I hope if you participated, I didn't do too badly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's it. Thanks for hanging with me for so long. Um, we have one more day tomorrow where we're going to do some fun things, which I'm going to hopefully vlog. And then Monday is the day we leave. So. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. some character we went to two, uh, like Disney character breakfast it had like Flynn and Rapunzel and Ariel and Prince Eric um, so that was fun and the food was pretty good I will probably share the pictures somewhere um, in some clips you probably already saw then we went to Disney Springs to just kind of walk around and see but it was really hot so we didn't stay super super long um, which it was still pretty area, so maybe like at some point we'll come back again and walk around when it's not hot. Yeah, and then we just came back to the hotel and just hung out by the pool for a little bit. I got a tan unintentionally. Um, and we've just kind of been chilling. I don't know what we have planned for the rest of the night, just because people are at the like Mickey not so scary thingy. Um, and we didn't really want to go. So I think we're just going to chill. But I will talk to you guys later, or probably update you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it's me um, updating you one last time. So uh, last night, after I updated you, we went and hung out with some friends in the room, and we just like chilled for the last night of like booking at best technically, or at least the last night in Florida. Um, now we are just on our way back home, Teresa's driving, I'm sitting, and yeah, 
Um, Bug Night Los Fest was so much fun. I like enjoyed getting to see all my friends, getting to meet new friends, um, and I definitely think I will be doing this next year as long as like money and stuff can like align well and all that kind of stuff but like I definitely see myself doing it again and I definitely recommend if you guys are ever like intrigued to go or interested in going you should check it out and you should just go because it's fun um you're around book people for a weekend and you all just get to like be friends and be in community so I definitely support this endeavor um but yeah uh that is it for this vlog and I will talk to you guys later.